If you're trying to achieve the Lux look for less, today's video is for you. In today's video, I am sharing 12 never before shared Amazon home products that you need. Before we get into today's video though, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram, but let's get to it. I want to start with this vase. So this is a vase that looks straight out of the Kelly Wurstler catalog. It is a stoner vessel, of course. Um, it looks just like Kelly Wurstler, but without the Kelly Wurstler price tag. It is called the Vase with Raised Dots, so that's the name of it, and it retails for $30. And it's from the brand Creative Co-op, which most of the things in today's video are from. So what I love about this vase, obviously, it's really nice and deep. I feel like when we have these bubble vases, they're either really small or they're really large. I love that this is a great in-between size. And it also does have felt pads on the bottom so that it's not going to scratch any of your surfaces, which happens a lot when you're getting stoneware vases. So I really do like this. It comes in black. You know, black is a great color for pretty much every single design style. So this is going to be a great contemporary temporary pop in your home. Next we have this stoneware bowl which is $24. So I really enjoy this bowl because of the texture that you have on it. It looks like it's perfect and then you get closer and you have those imperfections and that is what everyone is craving in the modern organic, the wabi-sabi, the japandi, um, the vintage inspired and all those interior design styles. This is what people are looking for and at $24 I love the price. I do really enjoy these little handles on either side. It's just an added bonus because I know Ikea honestly made one that looked like this. It didn't have the handle so this elevates it a little bit and I honestly think this one is either the same price or a little bit less expensive than the limited time one they had at Ikea so I appreciate that what would you use this for right because a lot of these products are like okay they're nice but like do I have a use for them I would use this probably for my keys you know on a console table when I'm coming in the home my keys my wallet those things um, that normally go in an ugly bowl or they're just kind of sitting there making a mess put them in something like this I don't think it's big enough to be a fruit bowl or anything like that unless you only eat like one apple a week in which case this is the bowl for you um, but it is very cute and it is dishwasher safe which does make me think that it may be food safe so that's fantastic. One of the trending patterns this year is that of the Swiss cross. You're seeing this a lot in your pillows, in your rugs, all that good stuff. But again, we love trends, but sometimes it's too expensive to buy into them on a grand scheme, especially since those trends will kind of go out of fashion. So this is a great way to get that. This is a Swiss cross. It comes in a set of four coasters. And yes, this is a coaster. It's 100% wool, spot clean only. It's creative co-op. Like I said, it would be... Um could you make this yourself? Maybe, probably, but I think that they are really well made and they're really cute. I even have a cup of coffee here. Look how cute that is. It's cute. Um, it's keeping all of the details designer. It's keeping all of the details luxe. It's something very simple. Do you need really chic and cute coasters? Maybe not, but is it better than the one that says like, um, what do coasters even say now? I don't know, something Ray Dunn, Ray Dunn, whatever Ray Dunn has to say is, is that or this, and I really, really like this. Now the pack of four is $28, which is pretty steep for a set of coasters, I will say that, um, but they are handmade. You can tell that they're handmade. I appreciate that they're handmade, and marble coasters are definitely more expensive than this, and marble, it's a porous material, so it honestly does tend to absorb some of that moisture when it's serving as a coaster, which is not always ideal, um, but I love this. I am gonna put them to the test, though, because they are 100% and there's no backing on them to see if anything seeps through so I will keep you posted. I've used them thus far and nothing seeped through but I'll be honest I really don't drink water that's that cold. I don't know I'm not a cold beverage drinker so we'll see if there's condensation that kind of seeps through and I'll keep you posted. Next we have a four set of whisk brooms for $13. So these are just two of the sizes. These are two of the smaller sizes. I left the tags on for you. Oop. I left the tags on for you so you could see how they come and two of them are already being styled in my kitchen um they have been for about a few weeks and i love them someone actually came to stay because uh, we went out of town and i was like let me style this for them so they feel like they're at like a um, chic coffee bar well i don't know i don't know what's wrong with me <laughs> but here are the whisks uh here are two of them they're very well made they aren't the whisks that are actually going to give you a splinter because some of them can feel like that so they're in four different sizes one extra large large medium and small so you can put them all together, you can separate them. 
A lot of these products I'm sharing in today's video, including these ones, are really great for styling countertops, console tables, and bookcases. And those are the parts of the home that people struggle with the absolute most, and they all really complement one another. So I'm really loving these. They're really simple. You're just gonna you're just gonna lean them, right? You could hang them on the wall. They could be a part of a gallery wall. The opportunities are really endless with these, um, and they're super cute. And these are made out of seagrass, and they are in four different colors. Next, I'm gonna chat about this Moon Waterfall Fall. I'm not holding it because it is already in the sink. <laughs> it is already attached to the vanity. But this faucet went wild on Instagram. If you don't follow me over on Instagram, you should go follow me there because I actually just did an entire powder room transformation with things entirely from Amazon because... I've been sick, so I haven't been going outside as much, so I needed everything to come to me, and Amazon kind of was the easiest. But this is the Moon Faucet. It comes in black, chrome, and silver, I believe. They might also have a gold, I'm not certain, but I got it in black. It is actually meant for a bathtub, but I wanted to use it on the sink, and I said, YOLO, I can do what I want. We're breaking, kind of, we're breaking design boundaries here. So it is a round faucet with two round um, handles, and it's, it's really cute, hot and cold. It comes out, it looks just like a disc. It looks something kind of like out of Star Trek, and if you know me, which why would you know me this intimately, but Star Trek is like my favorite show of all time. So I love that. It's just really cute, it's fun, it added some flair. It just wasn't a basic little sink from Amazon. And what I will say is whenever water is like too hard, or you have like mineral deposits in water, which is not something that you can always control, it's your building, it's where you live, all of that. When you have like a waterfall sink that can build up there, and I don't like the look of that, so I wanted something that I can clean internally with like a test tube cleaner, but it was never going to look dirty on the outside, even if it was dirty. So I love this. I will say it was fairly easy to install. Was I the one who installed it? No. Shout out to Babe. She seemed to have a really easy time. We've installed many, many sinks together over the course of our, you know, decade long relationship. And this one seemed to be the easiest one. Now to accompany that faucet, I actually got a peel and stick towel holder for $14. And I know what you're saying, why did you get peel and stick? So yes, this is a condo, so we do own it, but I wanted something that was temporary and I didn't want to drill into the walls, especially in a place that had a lot of plumbing, plumbing near it because I would hate to mess that up. I don't need that negativity in my life and it's also not that important to me. So we got this peel and stick one. It has a 3M strip on the back. Now we also have the paper towel version of this, which motivated us to get this because it holds our paper towels, the big Costco paper towels, has never fallen. It's fantastic, so we got it for the powder room as well and it's held up beautifully. You just rip off the 3M strip, you push it into the wall and then you slide your towel on it and you are good to go. Now let's chat about this peel and stick wallpaper and I will say everyone on Instagram has already sold out the black and green versions of this wallpaper so the tan is only the only one still available so I'm sorry but if you want to be the person to see it first and next time be sure to follow me over on Instagram at keepitupbrat because that's where I share all of my smaller projects um, every single day. But this is the mid-century bead peel and stick wallpaper. It got really horrible reviews. I ordered it anyway and I've loved it. I actually installed it with a bona broom and a ladder and it was very easy. I don't really know what the cause for all the bad reviews were. We've had it up for about a month now. I haven't had anything fall down. Super easy to work with and I did it entirely by myself. But I love this wallpaper. I love that it's peel and stick. The adhesive is good. It's pretty easy to line up the... Um, the pattern. The only problem is that it was back ordered, so it went in and out of stock. And that's actually just like probably like four square feet, maybe that I haven't even finished because it hasn't restocked yet. But I just, I just ignore that part. I just don't look up all the way. But I love this peel and stick wallpaper. I was very impressed by the quality of temp paper. So I actually put together a list of other wallpapers by that brand that I really, really enjoy. You can get the same look as this one, but I did want to share it because people are always asking me for renter friendly solutions. And I think this is a great brand to use for our renter friendly solution. And this wallpaper was only $35 for like 18 feet of it, which I think is a very, 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 very reasonable price because I've seen it for $100 for that same amount before. And I only ended up needing, I think it was it will be four rolls for my entire powder room and our ceilings are like 16 feet tall so I was blown away. Now this is my absolute favorite Amazon find as of late and it's kind of silly but when I was doing the powder room I wanted a uh, toilet paper stand again because I didn't want to go through the wallpaper and we have one wall that's plastered and I didn't want to drill through the plastered wall and the ones they'd installed when we moved in uh Kiva can you get to the point anyway 
I didn't want to drill one into the wall. So I wanted one on the floor, but I wanted one that looked cute, it looked chic, and it actually had another purpose. So I found this one for $35 that is a toilet paper stand that has a tabletop. So it actually looks like a drink table. Sure, can you come and put your cup of coffee on your drink stand? I'm doing this as if it's sitting here with me right now, and it is not, it's in the bathroom. But can you put your cup of coffee there if that's what you like to do in the bathroom? You sure can. You can bring your coffee, your tea, your Coca-Cola, your seltzer, uh, your liquor, whatever it is you want to bring to the bathroom, with you you can it also fits your cell phone um, so your cell phone can prop up like this in acrylic sand and you can watch TikTok while you're on the toilet and I know it's something really silly and you're like oh Kiva you're being crude I don't think I'm being crude I think it's amazing right because people spend time in the bathroom so I wanted to accommodate that plus it holds your toilet paper there's nothing better than that this is my all-time favorite Amazon find and everyone who has visited so far has loved it have they spent too much time in the bathroom then? Yes, but otherwise they've loved it and that's amazing. Now the last thing that I picked up for the bathroom when I was doing the bathroom makeover that I'm actually gonna talk about, of course I picked up other things, um, is this two set of amber glass bottles and concrete tray for $40. So I think it's actually pretty pricey in my opinion for you know a set of containers and a tray, but I bought it anyway because I really like the color. It's amber, it doesn't look amber now because I am not going to buy expensive soap. I bought a bulk pack of antibacterial Dawn, so that is what is in here, especially since this is the one that I have in the kitchen. But came in a two pack of these, they're amber, and they have a really nice light concrete tray that you set them in. So even if there's any like soap running down or moisture running down, it's not going to ruin, ruin your countertop, which I despise. So I'm really happy that it came with the trays. But I love the amber look, super cute. Um, and the pumps work really well. Sometimes you get these pumps at other places like Target and Walmart, and you know, you guys know I love Target and Walmart, Walmart, but the pumps aren't always high quality. I'm not gonna pump this now because I'm wearing nice clothes, but it works really well. So I was happy with this purchase. So if you're in the market for some good um, soap and lotion dispensers, these are great. They also do come with labels. I didn't wanna use the labels. I like keeping the mystery alive. Is it soap? Is it lotion? Um, am I allergic to it? I guess we'll never know. So I like keeping the mystery alive, but that's it. Now you've heard me go on and on about the pillowcase brand Mule or Muel or I don't know how to say it, but you've heard me talk about their velvet pillowcases before, which I love. Now, I was doing some late night shopping, as one does, as one does, and I found these. So these are linen burlap pillowcases and they have crosses on them. Again, crosses are all the rage this year as are like the checkerboard pattern. These are 20 by 20 and I believe they were $22 for a pack of two. Very reasonable in price with the increase in quality of the fabric. So let me show you a nice hidden zipper. Couldn't even find the zipper. Fantastic hidden zipper and it can accommodate anything you need. Now this, I wouldn't go up two sizes, I go up one. You could even do two to size because they don't have very much give. Now this one is brown and it has like a blue in it. It looks like a teal. It, I thought it was a green online so I think that was a messed up on my part but they have so many different colors but I love the little pop of color here. They have this brown, they have coffee, they have khaki, they have black, they have tan. So modern organic lovers, people who are loving brown this year, go check these out. You're going to get that Pottery Barn level pillow cover without the Pottery Barn price. Now this is the diamond of the season. It is this big stoneware base for $109. So $109 is a pretty penny, but you know, go to Crate and Barrel, you get a vase the size of this coffee cup, I mean, this coffee cup is like a paid actor in today's Amazon video, but you get something that size for $109. But this, I'm still picking styrofoam off of it. It's been like two weeks. It keeps coming out of nowhere, but look at it. It's fun, it's organic, it's weird. It looks like Kelly Wurstler again. It looks super high-end for $109. It didn't break upon arrival, which was a, a, a gift. It was a gift. And I love the cool gray tone. So it works perfect in a modern or contemporary home like yours, like mine. Um, and you can put some really cool stems in it. I have stopped buying stems because I have a closet full of stems now and then I really finally realized I had a problem. So I'm gonna use my Pottery Barn ones, but you can go outside your backyard, pick some up, pick some up from Target and it's going to look fantastic. Oh, there's some more styrofoam, but you get the point. And last but certainly not least, we have this wooden cutting board for $39. I think $39 is actually pretty steep. It definitely looked larger online, but I really do like it because 
it is wood it has felt pads on the bottom which we love so it's not going to scratch anything as cutting bo cutting boards often do and it actually has some depth to it so it has a rim and then it flattens down you know like as a bowl does or like as a high quality plate so you can actually hold things on there without it sliding off when you're carrying it which i appreciate because sometimes you prepare a board you know you're cutting something or you're putting like um, hors d'oeuvres on there and then you carry it somewhere and then it slides off of the cutting board because there's no rim so i really do appreciate that it actually comes in several different sizes they have ones that are way larger than this in theory and it does actually have a hole here so you can actually hook it on something and style it on your countertop and it is a really good decent size if you have overhead counter um, overhead cabinets it fits really well in my kitchen so I love it okay you guys that's it for today's video those were 12 new and never before shared Amazon products that I am obsessed with I think they all look super high-end and they will help you achieve the luxe look for less or at least relatively speaking what do you think what are you picking up from today's video if you are interested in any of my other Amazon friends I will link my Amazon storefront down in the description box and any of my other Amazon videos also let me know if you're interested in Amazon fashion and jewelry all of the clothes I've actually been wearing recently have been from Amazon because like I said I've not been leaving the house much due to health reasons so let me know if you like today's video please don't forget to subscribe like this video and check me out on Instagram and until next time have a beautiful day